Hey everyone, it's Lumen here. We've got an Agricola Arena game with one week to go in the season up against D Torch, 333 rated, Smoo, who's 543, top 20, and Myrmidon, 252. We're in the first seat and sitting after Myrmidon, so it's slightly better than other options. Um, for today's stream, uh, I am going to not be watching uh, chat. So hello, June, hello, CW, my biggest fan, quote unquote. Hey, Paul, hey, Silent, hello, Maddie, hello, everyone. And yeah, I'm gonna be not watching. I'm gonna put up a message here saying Lumen not watching chat. Uh, should I just open my message without even seeing what it is? No, I shouldn't. Uh... You have a game with Crystal made in June? Oh, well, good luck. Uh, why is this? Do I need this to be a different color? Yeah, okay, and then... Yeah, something like that. All right. So goodbye chat, hope you enjoy the stream. I will be talking through my ideas and all that. But yeah, I just wanna, you know, see how I can get this one in. Wood Expert Loom seem to be a pretty good combination here. Lettuce Patch, obviously great. Schnapps can be good. Fodder, Cottager can also possibly be good. But Loom for a food. Gotta be the best miner here. Some really good wood expert miners on the wheel, too. Small Greenhouse, another fantastic wood expert card. Lots of good endgame ox here. I think I'm just gonna lean into this wood expert thing. Game catcher has good synergy with loom. Cause I can really focus on holding the sheep. Chimney sweep is probably just better though. I mean, there's lots of good stuff. I might end up with like harpoon or canoe. It's okay, yeah, it's okay. Normally nothing wrong with education bonus or blueprint with wood expert. I mean, wood expert blueprint makes joinery cost a food and a stone. That's pretty good, right? But I mean, small greenhouse loom and like, can I get the granary or sack cart back from my opening miners pack? That seems pretty good. And yeah, any of these four ox coming back should be fine. Merchant might actually have a place this game. Maybe. Smoo taking some time to decide on the second pack here. Probably not worth reading into that too much. See, there was a conservator in my opening pack along with interior decorator, puppeteer. This might be wildlife reserve just because this miners pack kind of sucks i think game trade is worse this draft when i have a loom already yeah 
think I think it is just wildlife reserve. So not really sure when I'm gonna play it, but a food to a point and some possible result is good. Manservant is the pick if I'm very confident I'm wheeling conservator, but I'm not at all. Um so it might just be Charky here. What expert Charky is a nice couple early ox. I'm probably taking Reedstone food first action. But yeah, so far this, this draft looks pretty good for this wood expert. Sometimes the drafts are not quite as favorable for it, but this, this one looks good. You know what card I miss having, and I haven't had in many games, is Potter Ceramics. I miss my Potter Ceramics oven firing combos. Those are fun. Two ox as a minor prereq is probably what, uh, yeah, I probably want to get two ox relatively early. Uh, I'm ex well, that's assuming I end up with the sack cart uh, from my first miners pack. I think I still would rather have greenery over the sack cart, but I'm actually, ah, they're not very different, are they? Um, greenery is probably better. Probably just Strawberry Patch here. Hand Plow's not bad. I am sad to see little Plow support here, so that brings up the Hand Plow. Because my Veggie and Strawberry Patch won't be any good if I don't actually have fields. Nor will grain from something like Sack Cart be that good. Don't think this is the draft for Woodfield. This is... What expert makes so many of these miners cost the same? Potato is not a bad choice here. I don't think I have anything to help me bell found. No, I didn't take the excavator. I wouldn't take geologist. Transactor is nice for whoever takes blueprint, but I don't think that's me. I don't think that I'm taking stable architect here. Though, yeah, no, I think there's enough wood in this game. I don't need Stable Architect. Uh, it's just gonna be Potato and Strawberry Patch, and I'm gonna try to get some fields down. It's now getting a bit busy. Uh, Schnapps, Granary, Sack Cart, wow. It's also a good fishing net game. I could take Seed Cellar, Fishing Net, but probably better is Schnapps, Granary. I'll pay a wood for a point and not force out sack card on time. Thank you for whoever did a sub. This is a good fishing net, this game. Puppeteer's not a bad pick here either. Canoe got taken. Kind of interesting. Organic Farmer's back, that's totally fine and good. And then Blueprint I'm happy to have here, though. Yeah, Stone Clearing, I want to put crops in my fields pretty early, I think. Thick Forest is just hard to play sometimes.
This hand seems pretty good. Plenty of reasons for me to take Reedstone food first move this game. Besides the usual, it's good. Each food early is worth a couple wood if I time things. Well, if I take any time at all to play miners. Um... And I have wood in this hand, but not reed. There is potentially extra reed in the game, though. Like, I could end up with a harpooner here. But I doubt it if the canoe got taken. Or maybe harpooner was this pack that I'm looking at now. That's probably it. Yeah, I don't think I was remembering it for seven. Someone using Harpooner and Canoe to feed makes Charcoal a little worse. Makes Puppeteer a little worse. Conservator didn't come back. I do think I want fields this game just because of how many crops I've drafted. Yeah, Dwelling Mountain doesn't match up. Getting Manservant down... Well, okay, so... How many rooms I build this game depends on when growth flips. Early growth I can almost certainly do four, and late growth I should almost certainly do three. This hand is decently supportive of farming, no specific support for rooms. So on a three room house, Manservant has some potential. On a bigger house, Renovating the stone seems really tough to do with all the farming I want to get done in the mid game. But how good is Resource Recycler going to be? Conservator in the game means that someone might sneak in with a stone reno really fast. It's really hard to play this one timing wise. I think Manservant is the more likely one I'll actually have time to play. Even though it, I would also call it slightly less likely to be useful for me. If that makes any sense at all. Sheep round one is good. Uh, I'm happy to take two clay. Purple opens Excavator, which is... Well, that actually makes the two clay a lot worse, unless I also think they're gonna Bellfound. Bellfounder actually makes Charcoal pretty bad. If it gets played. Smoo going three wood over expensive Ock. I'll take a chance. Is it? No, I can't do this, right? I can do this.
purple buying a stone. I do think in a lot of ways buying that early stone is a mistake, but. Can judge after I actually see more of the game here. Smooth starting with clearing spade. Okay, so I get free Ocker or read action. It's not major minor, unfortunately. I'd be pretty surprised to see Myrmidon pass up on two read. seen quite enough to make sure I want to play charcoal burner yet. Treasure. It's not the Ock I expected to see necessarily. This looks like straw thatched roof, but that reedstone food, that means the stone is for the clay oven or axe, carpenter's parlor. I think I want to start player. This is pretty risky food wise but I'm gonna take Reed Stone food or play Charky. All right, now things seem okay. I took the wrong ox spot. I took the wrong ox spot. That's all right. It's possible that just taking the fireplace would have been a lot better than just playing Charky, but with Thresher out and none of the fishing stuff on the table yet, the opening actually seems a little food short, which makes the cookeries and ovens grabbed faster. So that's what I'm thinking of there. I'm going to travel before fishing. I prefer traveling to fishing here to make Puppeteer worse for whoever has it. Whoa. All right, well, I'm very happy possibly getting Reedstone and the Charky. Uh, okay, this is totally fine. I can actually risk four food, trying to get four food next round, I think. Yeah, that worked out perfect.
There's the harpooner, so I'm actually gonna fish before taking traveling now. Not that it'll really matter. Smooth plowing, getting a grain. Might be building clay oven next round. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Myrmidon gets to start for six wood. Or just take three. I'm fine with that. I'll open four food fish. Well. Yeah. Myrmidon's taking the sheep. Maybe I should be taking four wood here. Four wood, four food. If someone plays Puppeteer, I get five food. That's okay. No, no. Tempo. Just take the tempo. Food tempo. My wood expert is not cheap. I have so many good second actions here. Greedstone food, three wood, another four food. I'm not expecting four wood to come around, but that would be excellent as well. Yeah, I think I think Charky being good is the right call here. Myrmidon builds. So, I mean, I have a lot of great actions here. Um I'll make sure I can do the next build. It looks like there's going to be enough Reedstone food this game to go around. Harpooner taking a two read move round four is really underwhelming for them, I'd have to imagine. Yeah, this has to be Straw Thatched Roof for Smoo. I would have to think. The Reedstone food being for the clay oven. But this is kind of slow. Early growth will punish him pretty bad. Mervin on taking the four food over the four sheep here. Um, I think I do build first move. Force Myrmidon to either start 
or let me play all my wood expert miners. Passing six clay down the line. Uh, thick forest. I think I passed along, so. Could very well get randomly thick forest started on. But I mean, I have, I have like a blueprint, joinery, granary, wildlife reserve to be playing here. I don't mind. Myrmidon's not gonna defend. Instead playing an Auk. Domestician or Animal Tamer would be really cool. Or Stable Master, exactly something like that. Yep, that's probably fine. Ooh, with my two clay, I should think about taking pottery first. Myrmidon did start this game in fourth, so to be... A little behind on defending the first room is not necessarily their fault, but it is sad. I'm expecting Smu to plow again. gotten this far. Yeah, and you can sew one, bake one, spread them out, play straw thatched roof. This is the right time for Myrmidon to take the sheep. Um, I could consider six wood instead of redefending start player, but I don't have to choose. So do I want to spend time getting the pottery or should I just play the joinery or should I just play the granary? I think this is actually pottery or greenery. I'll play the greenery. It's a little sketch for feeding though. That's fine. Purple's best move might be fishing. Well, not more than six wood. I would take six wood and then think about going fishing. I would not be trying start player and get into a wood barterer. I mean, getting the canoe down, sure, but... Smoo now gets six wood and so. Smoo looking good.
Purple's gonna be double building next round. Smooth's gonna be double building in like round eight. It's gonna be a long time before I grow again. I'm pretty sure I'm just supposed to start farming. But I do need a lot of food for the next harvest, which I could just like completely solve with a schnapps distiller here. Or I could uh, play joinery right now or pottery and take clay and try to get a hearth. Yeah, this move's actually pretty important. Reedstone food probably wrong. I'm gonna play potato. Try to get a grain and a veg sown in stage three. It's pretty ambitious, but... I think it could work. Blueprint into not using it was not great, but, you know. And if I was always gonna play greener, well, no. It was fine if I was gonna... Oh, I forgot that this uh, action space also activated Thresher. Um, what was I gonna say? I don't remember. No, oh, something about Blueprint being fine if growth came round seven. Here's where I'm looking at probably getting six wood to start Round eight. Not actually sure about that, but that is a thing that often happens when you grow first, is that a couple of rounds later, at some point, one to three rounds later, you'll get six wood. There's that straw thatched roof. Myrmidon grows. Oh, sheep well's really nice this early. this oh okay sure I guess that's fine with excavator might hint that they have a loam pit I should check if, if I can jump back into the growth queue here. Well, obviously I'm in 
deeper need of traveling right now. Uh, there are other outs here involving Reno. Those ones are pretty fun. I mean, they get me closer to Manservant. I don't mind buying the reg the expensive fireplace and then going to a hearth later. How much do I care if Myrmidon gets six wood and I don't? Okay, you know, that's not bad. Clearing spade, oven firing boy. Smooth's got some fun feeding here. Merminod doesn't touch the wood, then we both get six. And I can aim for something like six wood plow next round. Six wood plow reed stone. And then in the dream world, plow so reno. Wait, that doesn't give me time for manservant. At the end of round nine. All right, well, it looks like... Oh, that's an interesting move. That's four food for an extra field. I would absolutely plow now over playing Plowman in terms of net effect, but that kind of hints at a uh, three oct prereq minor. Yeah, I think Reedstone into Reno Fireplace, eat a veg for two is my best thing here. So it turns out Schnapps would be maybe better than Potato, but well, no, I actually don't know what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm in a reasonably fun position here. I have a lot of aspects of my game already set up.
smoother you have to start, not too surprising. Fishing net, definitely good in this game. It's a good place to spend that reed. I think I am gonna let Myrmidon take the four read. Oh, not getting Reedstone food is awkward. I did not expect Purple to take Reedstone food, though I guess if they are looking at Basket Maker's Workshop, they would do that. I'd be pretty surprised for Mervidon to not take four reed here. Four reed with wood barterer is real good. The concern for them might be the sheep. Um, I mean, I should really think about trying to start fence, but I could also just take the four reed instead of the reed stone food. And then consider building. Okay, never mind. Could just take the sheep now. Uh, my food doesn't look amazing. Five clay doesn't do enough for me. I don't think any of my ox. I play manservant. I'm down to zero food and I can't buy the veggie. Yeah. Threshing board. Wow, Smoo really has a lot of baking available. Can feed on plow or cops or forest or grove. Myrmidon can build two rooms in a stable here and I'd be tempted to. Even just one room and two stables is quite good. I guess they can wait though, if they don't think I'm taking the two boar. I should consider six clay. Six clay is a room and stone oven amount of clay. Taking the two pigs now is fine for Myrmidon. I'm gonna move forward with my plan though. I think my plan's good.
All right. Seems reasonable for Myrmidon. Well, so is safe. So what else do I want to do this round? Three stones reasonable enough. Except for the part where I'd have to eat a sheep. So it's three stone and eat a sheep or take reed stone. Uh, passing up on three stone like this is not good form. But reed stone gives me enough of what I need to get manservant down next round. Why am I even trying hard for that? I don't know. I'm gonna force myself to take the three stone here. I'm gonna eat the sheep instead of a raw grain. Oh, purple needs to fish. Should have realized that. Sowing in stage three, one of each crop is really good. These two more grain off granary mean I can bake in the stone oven. Of course, that does mean I need to take a clay move. Which has, uh, you know, questionable other value. I mean, it could be good. Fences for sheep is also pretty high on the priority list here. Myrmidon grabbing traveling instead of building. That's probably fine. There's a few empty rooms right now. Smooth's probably going to start. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure Myrmidon had time to take the clay. Traveling into build seemed good for them. The board looks a little empty, which means fences is going to take a little while regardless of what I do. So I should probably go closer towards taking a room. Also, I really should be remembering my chimney sweep as a viable reno discounter. I think sometimes I think of it too much as just a late game two to three points, but or saving, like uh, being secretly able to reno, but I really should think of it for more. Cow flips, which makes fencing better. Three early animals this game. Hmm. 
All right, I think I will go for six clay first move here if it's available. I'm glad I haven't gone for joinery because there actually is not as much wood as I thought there would be this game. Not getting pottery down here and playing granary instead. I think it was probably okay. It's possible I should have played Granary first and then played Blueprint if it was Reno in six and played Loom if it was Growth in six or something like that. That might have been the better way to approach it. Smooth's first action plowing. Okay. I mean, it comes with four food. That grain will get baked by some means, almost certainly. Myrmidon starting. Last round to max out Hutch. Probably a room in two stables later. Um, hmm. Why didn't I take Stable Architect? <laughs> Room in four stables would be really fun. So who's gonna stable block? Okay. I'm thinking of building Stone Oven here. It helps Charky fire off. Could also buy the well. You know, that's probably the better idea here. Okay, Myrmidon just gonna do what here? Yeah, I should buy the well now, buy Stone Oven next round. Or not. Okay, well now there's a lot of improvements I want to play. That's a nice mini pasture. Myrmidon probably fences this space and then considers taking cows. Actually, it might have been right for them to fence a non-stable space and open with two cows hold all breeding pairs. Anyway, um... So what am I doing? This might be two wood fence 10. Kill the mini pasture or use it later for three fences. Yeah, getting those sheep with my loom has to be really good. I might just end on 10 fences this game, or 13, but I think that's gonna be okay. Fence here. 
I'm not threatening a room, so Myrmidon doesn't need to build. They're building for the round 12 grow, uh, grow with room. The wood is now really bad for people who aren't me and Myrmidon. Smu, of course, can handle... Oh, dang it. All right, well, this is reasonable. I have to admit. Uh, so I probably just take Greedstone. Okay, I guess that's a legal fencing arrangement. I don't know why you wouldn't fence two more. Guess you're getting a stable back for it. I did really want the three sheep in round 11 for the loom. That would have been really cool. Um, hmm. I'm a little locked into stone oven at some point. I would like to fence stone oven, get the sheep. The major is not necessarily at risk, but it could be. Mm, yeah, it's probably safest if I just take Major now. Not a big fan of where I've landed here, but it'll let me fence one extra. Purple plows? I mean, they need a lot of stuff here. I guess starting with mini pasture now looks pretty good for me. Um... If I had to guess, I would say Myrmidon doesn't let me have the three sheep. But it's got to be worth the try, and starting in this round is pretty good. Is it better than my other options? Probably. If the sheep get taken, I can just fence. Or I could play chimney sweep. Sometimes my music is really weird. <laughs> All right, well, I do get the sheep. That's really great. That is actually really great. Yes, please. I'll just let the game cook my sheep after breeding. Purple's really banking on fishing not getting taken, which I guess is safer with fishing net in the game. It's really nice for both of them. Smoo gets a nice uh, bake here. Even gets to sow two wood. 
Reroll a couple of wood in stage six. Which might be worth a point or two. On a late fence action. Smooth food is obviously amazing. If I was Smoo, I would actually consider not sowing one of these and clearing off the veggies. Because that way you have three rounds to get your last sow in to max out veggies. The grain should max itself out without much trouble. It's also time to maybe start thinking about organic farmer chances of happening. Well, urgent wish is definitely good for us. Cultivation wouldn't have been bad, but it's nowhere near getting this growth in terms of how good it is. Farmland is the ideal next move, but fences is also very good with all animals at one. Fences might be better. But who's fencing? Myrmidon might. Myrmidon's got 11 fences, who would? Yeah, Myrmidon could actually fence right now. So fencing and farmland are the two actions I'm hoping to choose from here. Or at least get one of them, rather. I don't think Smoo's gonna think about joinery. I would guess Smoo has Conservator. I'll fence here. And then start with... Do I think I'm getting that many more fields? No, I don't. I'm gonna fence bigger. It's also better for organic. If I get two stables, I, I won't be going for two stables. Yeah, this is probably just better and ignore organic farmer. Am I winning here? Sure, why not? What am I missing? Well, I have a lot of the things I wanted to end up with here. Got round 12 urgent wish while other people built a ton of rooms. I grew first. I have some ceiling yet to play. I think for the most part, this is going well. Chimney sweep means I can play the well instead of the joinery, and that might be better. Hey, an upgrade, yeah. Go Charky. Dang, how is start player still around?
I'm playing Chimney Sweep here because... There should be a lot of really good action spaces for me, no matter what turn order I am next round. At least that's what I'm claiming. That is less true if someone takes one cow. The clay plasterer to save three clay and get the next education. Alright, Smoo's taking a cow. Boo, Smoo. Eight actions left this game. Moon needs two stone and to play conservator. Oh, supply boat was in this game too? Purple starts. Out of everyone, it's purple starting. Okay, well, I claimed I would be okay with this. And I knew that mini pasture was gonna come around. Go around. The Reno Q looks really tight. Clouds look a little tight. That's an interesting spot. Yeah, my first action next round could very easily be Start Loom. I'm expecting it to go Cultivation, Urgent Wish... Oh, I guess that's a stone move. Cultivation, Urgent Wish, or Start Player. Not sure what Myrmidon's doing, but Myrmidon has no crops and is breeding three more points this game. I'm actually not too concerned about Myrmidon right now. Uh, so I think my move is going to be start with Loom or take uh, Farmland if start player is gone. Renovation, pretty good though. Uh, that, that should have been sown on the bean field, but they didn't. Yeah, Renovation and Farmland are pretty close here. If Start is taken. Smoo opting to go with Farmland over Urgent Wish, so I will either start or get to five people. Well, I didn't expect Urgent Wish to be available. Holy cow, what?
I have to be getting something good on my next move if I take Urgent Wish here. Start player is really good because Cultivation is like five points. And I do need to get this Loom down. Just click the good button, Lumen. Just click the good button. Reno gets taken, which is not ideal. Am I gonna lose the well here? No, because they need BMW, okay. I was expecting them to take Urgent Wish, but I think I get two war or urgent wish. Purple's kind of dead. I need one more bottom feeding action. Two sheep is very good. Two boar is fine. Reno is less good for me. Well, I guess it's only me and Smoo needing to renovate the rest of this game. Uh, okay, do I want the boar or do I want the sheep? Three points, two food. And two points, three food. Okay, well that answers that. I'll major minor next move if it's available. Smoo probably takes it though. I might have reached on those pigs a little early. Game catcher is in this game. Smoo needs a uh, conservator down stat. Okay, good read Lumen. I take the well and then either two sheep or question mark. What's this? Oh, fodder's fun. How likely am I to build stables? And if I am, how likely is this wood gonna matter? It matters if I get another Charky. Or end up with joinery. The food matters an annoying amount right now. I might get these sheep. Myrmidon's got plenty of food in these animals. One extra cow, one extra sheep compared to 
the next amount of breeding points. I have to say these are terrible fence aesthetics for purple here. I don't mind them getting 15 fences on seven spaces with three pastures, but these aesthetics are terrible. Like, can you just put this one up here or can you move these fences down here? Like, why did you do this? I think this was the mini pasture, but like that mini pasture could have gone there and then could have filled in some of these spaces. That would have actually been better spatially too, I think. Anyway. Smooth's got plenty of food, not enough wood. Three wood and a bake seems really good. Having nine grain and six wood going into a hope to reno fence. Bummer. All right, well, I'll have a one sheep for a uh, two-point move next round, and I can take a cow now. It really could be a lot worse for me here. I probably got Reno Strawberry Patch. Oh, actually, I need to eat a sheep. Shoot. Ooh. Not ideal. Uh, could eat two raw grain instead. Maybe I don't get the six loom sheep and I'm okay with that. How is this not one cow? There are not really other moves here. I could eat a pig. That's actually the better move. I think. It cost me four food. Well, it's two food worse than eating it later. But it gives me another loom food next harvest, so it's only one food worse than eating the sheep. And keeps the one sheep two point move open. It's also better organic arrangement if I end up doing that. So I'm gonna say this is better without fully checking. Can I just regret my blueprint one more time? Well, anyway, it's not clear who I'd be losing to here. Uh, I mean, Smoo gets eight point reno and if he gets the six wood stack, that would be sad. But, I mean, that's what he's staring at. But, I mean, I have 10 points coming in on a Plauso and a Reno. Wood Stables Organic is three moves, so that's probably too much. There's a chance I get Urgent Wish. That would put me at 48. Let's see, if Smoo gets 12 wood and a so. Nineteen, so forty-three. Oh no, that's not that many points.
I think I'm looking okay here. Chimney Sweep actually gives me one for Smooth Reno. Yeah, I'm probably fine. Once I decide I'm for sure fine, I'll put chat, chat back up and see how everyone's doing. Blue closes off there. That's fine. I could separate Ren Fence and Stra or Reno and Strawberry Patch into two separate actions and block uh, and cost Smu an action. So I'm getting two food from Loom, two from Strawberry Patch. I have one extra, or sorry, two from Loom, two from Potato. I have one already, so I'm short three food. I have a grain, so I'm short two food, and I can eat a sheep if I don't get another sheep here. But I do need a food to play Strawberry Patch. Well, I am getting Urgent Wish, so, you know. Feeling pretty good about my situation here. I might have uh, miscalculated the Reno fence for Smoo, but I don't think I did. Myrmidon threatening some fences here. No, I, I, I'm pretty close to 50, except for needing to feed a bit, so. Yeah, I think, I think I'm good here. Food recount. Yeah, I am short of food. Uh, two food, so. My last action will be two food. I guess that means I can take a boar. Make sure Smoo doesn't have that out for... Points. Or I could just eat another sheep. It's a one point move regardless. So yeah, I have a bunch of one point options. Unfortunately, Organic Farmer isn't one of them. I don't think. I have two grain to eat for a point also. Uh, let's see. I play Organic, I'm down to zero food. I'll need to the grain to pay for the strawberry patch on the reno. The only point of playing an off would be to hope Smoo gets blocked out of playing Stable Architect, which is looking like what he's got. I mean, either way, how is Smoo getting you know, seven more points here. It doesn't look like that's happening. Okay. Uh, and then Myrmidon's fencing is three points. Stabling is another two. Myrmidon, like, 41, 40. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say hello to all of you in chat. What's up? How was this experience? I see I didn't lose anyone by doing this. Alright, thoughts on my game, anyone? I don't really want to...
Nicely played, thank you. Yeah, please wait to comment on outstanding moves. I think I'm taking a gore. I can definitely reno. I can definitely play Strawberry Patch. I don't think I messed up my food math. Looked rough, but yeah, Faith, good. <laughs> Thanks, Brindlin. Surprised it worked out. The mid game looked tricky. You have some notes on the music. Oh, Stable Architect's there, huh? That's interesting. All right. One, three, five, seven. Oh, wait a second. If I do this... Three, five, six... No, I don't think it works out. It should be fine regardless. Nobody's threatening Reno. Yeah, Distiller and Manservant could have made the team, but I was thinking if I'm on three people and I'm getting Stone Oven later, Manservant's just not really necessary. Hearth in the Strawberry Patch was one point better. Alright. What about compared to versus Smootho? I guess we could assume Purple was going to take the boar. Yeah, I can see Hearth being better. Because it, well, yeah, coming with a food is always nice. Categorically prove that the optimal number of rooms is three. Yeah. <laughs> what? What is that? No, did have an awk here. Oh, here's the game catcher. Yeah, that makes sense. It's equal as long as we doesn't add a run one point. Okay. Well, apparently purple took the clay. <laughs> Thinking that's better than going for an animal, so I don't really know. Yeah, the unused blueprint was sad. I think purple really hurt their own game by taking pottery like that. I don't think like this was a good move for them just because usually you want to do other things during growth queue times. More players didn't rush to five. Yeah, I think the timing of some of these rooms were tough for people. The veg eaten in the fireplace. It was a little sad, but my alternatives weren't that good either. I think I was quickly skimming chat and saw people saying I was lucky to have both of these. And I mean, I completely agree. Who said that there's early stone and an excavator? Yeah, I don't know how I end up with these, but you know, if you overfocus on pottery, delay the basket maker's workshop until really late, you know, they don't have time to do anything else. Skimming a bit more of the chat now, Rainier's saying this looks like one of those weak chimney drafts. 
I did manage to make it work out, though yeah, it was uh, a little sus. You, some of you were worried about me catching up to Teal. Yeah, their crops came in really late. They got the animal part down, but you know, not enough fields to, to sow in. Like, I think part of getting my two fields early was really helpful in how I won this. Blueprint very overrated, sure. We got uh, Plum Bob and Brindlin a fan of the music. That's good. All right, I'll, I'll see the rest of the chat later. But hey, Smoo, yeah, GG. Thanks, Defender. You swear you see other players getting two to three points on Chimney and yours is always zero to one? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe in games when you have Chimney Sweep, care about stone a little less. Let other people have slightly bigger piles of stone because you're getting a point from it later. But won't be a huge difference. So I'm eating a sheet for grain. Getting to 50, so that's cool. Smoo did a nice job catching up on a conservator farm redevelopment, but... Yeah, when your only fence is coming round 12, or round 14, it is really hard to get great animal points. This was fun, it was just a little slow. Blue's saying they should keep a wood. Oh, yeah, I mean, they spent a wood for no reason, but it shouldn't hurt the final standing here. Yeah, Blueprint should have been if I have to defend Start Player again. That's how it really should have worked. Play Gurringeri first, and then see if I should play one of the other miners. Yeah. Well, good thing to remember for next time. Hey, Myrmidon. People thought you would be uh, the one to beat here. Thank you. Yeah, GG. I guess I can take off this message now, now that I am watching chat. Oh, and it was Tim Griff. Thank you so much for the for the resub. Really appreciate it. Ooh, you have a constable. Tim is right here with the arena. Oh, nice. Did uh, Purple never got their field off of education bonus or veggie? Oof. Oof. You don't usually play education bonus for a read and a stone. I uh, don't know if you care, but the math on eating the board didn't check out. All right. Got up to sixth, back over 1800. So that's good. Yeah, 
play exactly the range. <laughs> What was I supposed to eat there, Gray? Was it just a sheep? I assume it was just a sheep. Maybe a raw grain. I don't think I could have afforded that though. Yeah. This uh this ended up working. I was in a couple risky situations, but got out of them fine. So, uh, overall a nice win. And, yeah, something I end up doing a lot is, you know, even if I get the first growth, just deciding to farm instead of pushing for a second growth can be very effective. Urgenting twice is very important, yeah. I mean, this flip did help me win the game for sure. Leaving myself the option of a two-point move doesn't work if I'm losing a point to do so. Right. Yeah. Yeah, Urgent Wish ended up being very important, as it often is. But it was the better path compared to building more rooms. Or my thoughts on the no chat stream? I liked it. <laughs> I really got to focus entirely on my own thoughts, which is, you know, it's valuable to me. And it definitely helps me uh, be guilt-free about not getting help from people during arena games, but yeah, there's been enough talk about that. Thanks, Brandon. Appreciate it. Appreciate every one of you here. I will go back and watch this probably at least the first half to see uh, what y'all were talking about in the early game. All of your hot takes and not so hot takes, but yeah, in the end, I mean, this is a really good wood expert. Uh, the draft really came around for it. Yeah, well, Brindlin, even if we get stats for BGA, uh, the move by move stats and the game log are not included. That's not something that BGA has available for analysis. Regardless, that for sure is not in their framework as far as I know. All right, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Uh, KLJ, is that a real thing or not? Oh, that's not wrong, not the right button. That's not real, okay. I think Econ Sean said before that he likes to stream, but, uh, or on Mondays after mine, but. It's your favorite way to spend channel credits. That's fair enough. Do I need to, uh, do I need to make soon premium more expensive or cheaper for you, KLJ? Do you think it's not worth? Or do you get beaten to it? Not enough Yahtzee going on right now. Oh my gosh, I had the worst... <laughs> I had the worst space-based game. I was in second arena, and I got a uh, put a charge anywhere card for whenever my opponent rolled a single five, and I had the U win in play. And all three of us were at like 10 points. And I couldn't get my opponents to roll four fives for like five orbits and I lost. It was the worst. And now I'm in seventh because whenever you go for you win, it's just really easy to get last. All right, Econ Sean is live. Econ Sean's doing uh, crazy internet things, but then says Arena Agricola after. So yeah, that looks like where we're going. Thanks all for watching. I'll plan to be back tomorrow. Um, there's a small chance I don't have work tomorrow, but I definitely have work right now. So I'll see you all next time. Uh, I recorded a podcast with the Game Brain podcast over the weekend. So go check 
Uh, go Google Game Brain Podcast, and the episode with me should be out today. Yep. Take care, everyone. Bye.